to the heroin of hell, which is um, the second part in the Innsbruck Easter play. So we have been looking at uh, the prologue and then starting at Pilot's house, so one of the stations on the stage, um, with the hiring of the guards for the resurrection and then um, the resurrection, which in, in itself is somehow the smallest part, even though it's uh, the reason for, for all of uh, the play to happen. But uh, what is interesting for a drama isn't the fact of the resurrection, but the reaction of the people about it. So, and to have lots of human interaction uh, with a divine as a backdrop. So you see unfolding now the reaction to the resurrection by different groups and we are uh, starting at the bottom in the hell and then um, going further up and then the next play in the cycle would have been the ascension of, of Christ, so going um, further up. The herring of hell is a part that only came into the performance of the Easter um, events at a fairly later stage. It doesn't have a biblical uh, basis, but uh, is the, the attempt of the early church to fill in the gaps between the uh, burial of Christ and the, the re resurrection. So um, if you uh, have ever heard the one of the creeds, the apostolic uh, creed, so he was crucified, dead and buried, and then he descended into hell on the third day he rose again uh, from the dead. So uh, this he descended into hell is the part that is now um, expanded in the harrowing. Um, what is in the Bible is the bit before and the bit after, um, but um, already, as I said, in the early church, um, they tried to bridge um, what happened in these three days by um, reflecting on the theological consequences. So it's not so much a literal event that's happening, but a um, symbolic um, enactment of what the resurrection means for everybody, namely not just those living now or living in the future, like us, um, but also those living in the past. So Christ's um, resurrection has meaning for everybody. And um, this is in the early church um, encoded in so-called sequences, so complex liturgical chants that would reflect on the happenings of the Bible. So um, the core piece is the Victime Pascalis, and we'll look at that more closely when we come to the scenes with Mary Magdalene and her uh, walking to the empty tomb. Um, and um, the herring of hell is put in um, according to one sequence which is called the Cumrex Gloriae, which is quoted actually in the Innsbruck Easter play. You see here a manuscript that is in the Bodleian Library, but which is originally from northern Germany. Um, a convent of Cistercian nuns uh, who wrote in this manuscript in the late 15th century as a handbook for the provost um, of 
the convent because uh, in the convent they would also on small scale kind of reenact uh, re the dramatic sequence of Easter in the way that the provost would start to sing um, and then the nuns would answer. So they don't uh, walk around or act it out, but uh, they imagine themselves in these dramatic events through the Latin liturgy. And you see here Christ in the initial C for the Cum Rex Gloriae uh, with his wounds. So um, after he had been crucified, um, and you see the health mouth, um, I was uh, told uh, health teeth is a kind of uh, swear word, or, yeah, uh, uh, a swear word or uh, yeah, uh, a way to confirm something, especially in Northern England. Would you use it here? Way to express shock. Yeah. Um, because you can distinguish where a miniature comes from by the form of how the hell mouth is and uh, the, to, that the hell mouth has teeth is typically for northern German. Well, just a fun fact. Um, not really relevant, but... Um, so this um, also called the descent to uh, the, um, those below um, the descent that involves the harrowing of hell comes in um, at a fairly late stage. Um, uh, this is another manuscript in the Bodleian from the same convent, which is a Psalter. So uh, there you see Lucifer um, as a black devil, and um, behind. Adam and the blonde Eve, you see a lot of other souls, and Adam is saying Adventisti desiderabilis, which is a, a quote from the Cum Rex Gloriae, and um, the devil says what Lucifer says in the play here, Quis es iste Rex Gloria, who is this king of glory. And um, the basis for this sequence that describes the descent into hell is um, the psalm that is above written here. So this is a Psalter script, uh, namely a processional psalm, which was uh, used in um, Israel for um, going up to the temple. So you have a ritual repetition of verses uh, one Cantor would start it and then everybody would uh, answer. So the Cantor would sing Quis es iste rex gloriae in Hebrew and um, so I've given you here the uh, Vulgate Latin translation and then uh, the whole procession would answer um, it's uh, the Lord uh, strong and mighty. You might know this uh, psalm in the version of the King James Bible, which was used by Handel for the Messiah. Um, Lift up ye gates, um, and then who is this King of Glory? It is the Lord, Lord Almighty. So, uh, uh, where the whole choir will uh, um, sing. So, it's uh, already in the psalm a dramatic uh, structure and a, a structure that is repeated. So, you have verse 7. Tollite portas principes vestras et enevamini, porta eternalis et introivot, a bit uh, rex gloriae. And then you have the question, who is this king of glory? You have the answer, the Lord Almighty. And then you have exactly the same as a chorus repeated. And this um, repeated structure is combined with a sequence of the cum rex gloriae and provides the backbone for the first part of um, the harrowing of hell. Um, in Hebrew, uh, this um, principis probably meant uh, the principle, the top of the gates to be lifted up, lift up the heads of the gate. 
But in the Vulgate, it's understood as being princes to be addressed. So, and that's um, the sense which is picked up then by the Middle High German, because that's based on the Latin, not on the Hebrew, while um, Hendel in his Messiah lift up the gates on high, but the, um, is based on, on the Hebrew. So we had left the soldiers uh, fighting and um, then there would be a procession from the place of the tomb where the angels had just come to the next place uh, where hell would be represented um, by a big hell mouth, probably similar to uh, the one I've just shown you from the illustration on um, normally on the right hand side of the stage so you have always uh, the baddies go from right to left uh, the goodies as in film from uh, left to right so, so it's the same for uh, medieval stages and modern uh, film production because of the reading direction of um, western script from left uh, to right which is perceived as the good movement rather than the existing movement. So they, um, Jesus and the angels would walk from left to right towards the Hellmouth and um, the angels would sing what in the church on the Easter night the provost and the nuns uh, would sing, namely this um, sequence Cum Rex Gloriae. So I've uh, given you, this is uh, the edition I did of the Provost's Handbook, which I've just shown you, because it provides um, the full music for Cum Rex Gloriae. Um, then going on. So it's a very elaborate, um, complex, a uh, chant that would have required um, actually trained clergy to act. So probably the angels would have been provided by the local uh, deacons of, of the church who were trained in, in singing the Latin chant while the devils could be played by uh, the much more fun part <laughs> by uh, those not trained um, in Latin. And um, so the angels uh, would sing the stage uh, uh, directions. Uh, so they sing about themselves so that um, they go with Christ, the King of Glory, to um, the hell to live. So it's a kind of acting out what they are singing in the Latin. I, I'd ask you to look for today at the relationship between the Latin and the German. And um, it's quite cleverly done in the play that you don't really need to understand all of the Latin. It's, it helps if you catch the occasional word, but um, let, all Latin will either be acted out or repeated um, in translation. So um, that you have the opportunity also through watching the play, then next time you are at Easter in, in the church to understand more of what you hear there in as part of the liturgy only in Latin. Um, so, when uh, they, um, the part of the angels sent, um, when they refer to the Sanctorum Populus, so the saints, meaning those who died before Christ had the opportunity to redeem them, um, they are crying out, Wurze lacrimabili, uh, with a uh, lamentable uh, voice. 
Um, and so these are all the forefathers starting from Adam then up to uh, John the Baptist uh, who was beheaded before uh, Christ had the opportunity to redeem him. So, um, And then the next part of the sequence, which in the service itself would all be sung in one go by the clergy, is now broken up into dramatic parts. So um, the actor playing Adam, who also then would need to be a clergy um, person, would um, sing the next part, um, Advenisti. Desiderabilis. And um, you can see just from the line here, Desiderabilis, that um, this desire is uh, put into music. So uh, the desire becomes um, this flourishing high line, um, while in Tenebris, in the darkness, you have the lowest notes here going down um, and um, so you have a bit of um, also Wortmalerei in the music um, which again could then on stage be acted out so it helped as a kind of crib sheet for understanding uh, the Latin if you could combine the musical expression uh, Adam raising his hands to Christ, asking to be uh, released, and um, Christ's reaction to it. Um, another long uh, melisma is here. Requirement, home we required, we were longing, 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 longing. So it's a very long uh, melisma, right? Again, um, and then the space, the hope goes up to the top. Um, and um, so it shapes the whole uh, cry for help into a musical. Form. And, um, this is another representation of uh, the harrowing of hell where you see also the angelic forces and that's um, already closer to uh, the kind of uh, dramatic presentation because you have all the souls here um, coming behind Adam and he holds as a speech bubble to factus is space desperantes. So you have been made into the um, to factus is space desperantes. You are you have been made into the hope for those who despair. Space was this melisma we had seen going high up, and there you see uh, the gates of hell that have been broken down. It's again an example from uh, northern Germany, from the convent of Wienhausen, which is uh, near Celle, uh, near Hanover. And then um, Lucifer uh, is um, brought on stage. So probably coming out of the hell mouth dramatically. And um, he's roped in to recite some of the biblical uh, texts. So this quiz is Isterix Gloriae, originally from the psalm. I'd shown you the processional psalm. Um, and the angels uh, then answer what those on the procession would have recited. Um, it's uh, the Lord coming. And um, as I've mentioned, most of the sh at least shorter Latin is translated in the text. So the angel who uh, knocks on the door of hell 
um, repeat in a uh, rhyming couplet. Um, schließt uf die Tor und König der Ehren zur Berechts Glorie. Und uh, ihr Herren um, is the Principes uh, from there. Uh, and Lucifer also uh, repeats himself in German. Um, wer ist der König? Gewaltiglich, uh, the fault is, um, uh, the porta, uh, porta eternalis, uh, the um, eternal gates are then here interpreted as a uh, door of hells, uh, of, of a hell. Um, and then you have the whole repetition structure, which we already had seen with the previous um, things uh, there where also the Jews were repeating things uh, three times. It's partly to structure, partly to make it here um, same as it was in the Bible, partly uh, to add a, uh, to make it memorable and add a certain magic to have to it. Um, it's interesting just uh, to to reinforce the message. This is meant to be spoken and acted, and it's not uh, edited text to be read. If you just compare the spelling of uh, the more or less identical lines uh, 275 and 290, schließet uf die Tour, der König der Ehren ist um, herefore or therefore, um, you have uh, schließet once uh, spelled S C H L I S, and then here S C L I S Z. Um, oof, once with V, once with U. So don't go for uh, the spelling, go for how you would uh, pronounce it. Um, this, uh, the he or uh, da is probably just a variation as you uh, say it and as you would do it, as I said, if you don't have a prompter. Um, Lucifer um, repeats himself and um, then uses a lot of evocative uh, alliterative uh, spelling, so uh, the lo uh, lots of k-word, Kreuel und Kelle. Um, Kreuel is a, a kind of rake um, or hark, so uh, trying to um, rake devils back into hell. As I said, if you look at Hieronymus Bosch and what the devils are using there, uh, you, you still have um, the fork of the devil quite, uh, so it's something uh, like um, that. Um, and Klaffen, Toren, Onomot, Poetic uh, words. Um, Christ uh, then speaks and um, he also speaks in biblical words, which he then later will sing in uh, Latin. Venite benedicti patris me uh, becomes nucumt mine viel lieben kind, die von minem Vater bekommen sind. Uh, and then um, Adam also repeats part of what he has already sung in Latin, um, uh, saying welcome to uh, Christ. Um, and he also um, frames it for the audience by calling it a gute mehr, which is um, literally a, a, a yeah, good news um, as um, the English word for gospel which is um, basically God spell, so that word is a, a good 
uh, spell meaning um, also the, a, a tale of news. Um, it, if you know um, Luther's um, children's um, uh, cavil, from Himmel hoch, da komm ich hier, is uh, the message of the angels to the shepherds in very simple language so uh, that uh, children could memorize uh, the nativity. Vom Himmel hoch, da komm ich hier, ich bring euch gute neue Meer, der guten Meer bring ich so viel, davon ich singen und sagen will. Um, that's another uh, way of uh, getting the message across. Uh, Adam and Eve, and then um, you have one last soul that is that remains in hell. So everybody is pulled out except for this last soul, um, and um, that. Uh, probably was put in as a kind of um, warning, um, you don't automatically uh, get redemption. And that was a point that was contested in um, the Middle Ages and then uh, in the Reformation even more. So uh, do you have to uh, do anything to be redeemed or is it, is the grace unconditional. And uh, there is an interesting report of, about a performance of a play about the ten virgins. Um, so the five the foolish and the five wise virgins. And um, in the end, um, under also die fünf törichten Jungfrauen, so the foolish virgins, verdummt worden, also verdammt uh, worden. So when they are sent to hell in this play, da taten sie zumal kläglichen und unsere liebe Frauen und die Heiligen baten alle vor sie und das hält alles nicht. So uh, they are uh, lamenting as this lost soul does. And uh, Mary and the saints intercede for them, but it doesn't help. Und zu dem Spiel kam auch Landgraf Friedrich der Freidige und war zumal zornig und sprach, was ist der Christenglaube? Hilft nicht, dass vor uns Sünde, Sünder unsere liebe Frau betet und in das Flug in der Slag. Um, so, uh, plays had a dramatic impact, um, because uh, he realized when watching the play, um, that it might not be enough if even Mary was um, interceding for him and that uh, leads to a, a Caesar um, and I, he survived this one, he only died a year later but um, nevertheless um, we all have to prove our academic research has impact so if I could show a uh, Landgraf who had, had an apoplectic Caesar um, probably would be a good thing. Um, here you have the foolish versions. Then comes an interlude, uh, which is interesting. Uh, so Lucifer regretting that he has um, fallen. So I've um, the prehistory that is. Um, implied in here is uh, that um, there is a sequence of Lucifer being originally an angel, um, then wanting to sit higher than God, being expelled, so he fa uh, falls into hell and from the hell, uh, the hell fire then drops down on Adam and Eve. So this is a um, visualization of Hoffart, Hochfart, Hochmut, literally uh, the attempt to go up on high, Hochfahren, um, 
uh, which is sinful if it's pride that wants to be higher than God. And it also explains the, the close link between um, uh, the Lucifer and Adam and Eve. If you watch more of the mystery plays, if you watch the creation and fall that was enacted last year, we had the same actor play uh, Lucifer and the snake, um, then getting Adam and Eve out of envy to uh, sin. And um, so this is explained for the benefit of uh, the audience, the prehistory of Adam and Eve, but also to bring home the moral that everything pivots on the sin of pride. Uh, he was an Engel Klar, a bright angel, and uh, now he is down there. Um, the um, scribe who did this, um, a clerk in Nuremberg, Johannes Forster, uh, on whom I did my PhD. He has illustrated that by blackening one of the arms of Lucifer that is turning from the claw um, blonde into the blackened arm and blackened um, face and hair of uh, near Hellmouth, uh, kind of singed from the flames. So um, then um, there is the need to fill the hell mouth again, uh, quite practically on the stage. Now you had an empty space uh, in the hell mouth where you had uh, pulled out Adam and Eve and the others. Um, and that is um, used for a kind of review of all the um, states and classes of society, which takes its um, inspiration from the uh, dance of death, where also um, death dances with all classes, down from uh, the, here you have the Pope with the triple crown, and then the cardinal, bishop, and uh, uh, monk. And the same way uh, Lucifer goes through and that probably would have been also the opportunity to extemporize so you would put in um, people or incidents from your own town um, a bit like a Constantine knows more about that uh, like carnival uh, or where you would have uh, the every year current political events uh, being pulled into the um, ridiculing and satire. The uh, oldest um, dance of death uh, was in Basel, but uh, then the most influential for Northern Europe was the one in Lübeck. If you want to see a um, well-preserved, um, pretty complete uh, dance of death, um, you can see it in Berlin in the Marienkirche. Uh, so Marienkirche is the one just next to the Fernsehturm. And uh, many people don't realize that it's one of the few bits of properly medieval uh, uh, Berlin left. Um, I'll... This just as an illustration that the link is still made today. So this is a photograph I took um, last year in a village near Freiburg. Um, Bleibach, they have a Baroque dance of death. Here a panel with the souls in hell asking for intercession. So for, uh, everybody should say prayers. And there's also an um, Opferstock where you can put in the money. So that's exactly what Luther was um, <coughs> criticizing. There's kind of a link between the Wald, the Geld im Kasten klingt, die Seele in dem, aus dem Fegefeuer springt. Um, 
So in order that we can get through the whole passage reading grammatically, I'll uh, stop here going through the um, different things. I think you'll um, get it when we are going to it. Right. Constantine, can I have you, please? We won't sing the uh, sequence because it would take too long. Just, that's the only reason. Uh, <laughs> um, we'll just uh, recite it uh, more or less. Quo facto Jesus et Angeli ibunt ad infernum. Angeli cantant. Cum lex gloria Christus infernum de bellaturus intravet. Et corus angelicus ante faciem eius portas principum tolli preciperet. Sanctorum populus, qui tenebato en morte captivus, voce lacrimabile clamar verunt. Adam cantat advenisti. Advenisti desiderabilis, quem expectamus in tenebris, ut educeres hac nocte vinculatus de claustris, Te nostra vocabant suspiria, te laga requirebant lamenta, tu factus est spes desperatis, magna consolatio in tormentis. Angeli cantant, aporta inferi, aporta inferi eripe nos domine. Luzi verklamat, stoß den Regel vor die Tor, ich weiß nicht, was da rauscht davor. Angeli cantant, tollite porta principis vestras, tollite portas principis vestras, et elevami porte eternalis, et introibit rex gloriae. Luce verklamat, quis es iste rex gloriae, Angeli. Dominus fortes et potens, Dominus fortens in prölio. Item Angelus percussiens liquid. Ihr Herren, schließet uf die Tor! Der König der Ehren ist hier vor. Lucifer Dietzit. Wer ist der König, lobelig? Der stoßt so gewähliglich mir an meine Hände Tor. Er mochte wohl blieben davor. Angele Kant und Tollite Portas Principis Vestras. Tollite Portas Principis Vestras. Et ele vermamine quiteris ele malis. Et introibit rex gloriae. Lucifer. Quis es ist rex gloriae? Angeli. Tollite portas principis vestras, et elevamini porte eternalis, et introibit rex gloriae. Lucifer? Quis es iste rex gloriae? Jesus, Dickit. Ihr Herren, aus der Finsterkeit, ur Rufes seht ihr gar ungemeid. Balde schließet uf die Tor, der König der Ehren ist davor. Lucifer, die Zit. Stoß den Regel vor die Tor, der König der Ehren ist davor. Er schriegelt uns zu den Ohren, wehrlich, er mag wohl toren, so viel kann er Herr klaffen. Was hat er hier zu schaffen? Beide heiß in Endweg gehen. Anders in Wert ein bos Wetter bestehen. Je mehr Kreuel und Kelle, ich will ihn senken in die Helle. Erzieg Jesus, Krönig Tartarum, Dämonis Ululan. <lacht> Jesus, die Kind. <lacht> Nun kommt, meine viel lieben Kind, die von meinem Vater bekommen sind. Ihr sollt mit mir ewiglich besitzen, mines Vater riech. Woll mich hüt und immer mehre, woll mich dieser guten Meere. Ich sehe den, der mich geschaffen hat, an dem Himmel und Erde start. Bis willkommen, lieber Vater Jesu Christ. Ah ja, bin ich jetzt. Ähm, ah ja, wie lange du gewesen bist, dass du dich nie wolltest erbarmen über uns viel Armen. Erbarm dich, hüte über mich, viel lieber Herr. Des bitte ich dich. Jesus, die Bitte. Euer lieber Adam, wie was es um dich getan? Wer gab dir den bösen Rat, dass du brachst Gottes Gebot? Adam, die Bitte. Lieber Herr, das will ich dir sagen, der leidige Tüfel hat uns betragen. Er kam zu Eva gegangen, glich ihr dies einer Schlangen. Er sprach, dies ist die beste Spiese, die sollt ihr essen, so wird ihr diese. Eva, die Zit. Da ich den Apfel umfing, an dem Baum da er hing, zu Hand war der Fluch getan, der macht der Frauen mit an. Nun ist jeden Pien und Not, manch Seele in der Hölle Blut. Jesus, die Kind. Nun kommt, meine vier lieben Kind, die von meinem Vater bekommen sind, in meines Vaterreich, das euch bereit ist ewiglich. 
Content. Content. Benedi, äh, Benite, Benedicti Patris Mei. Possidete paratum vobis regum, regnum, a constitutione mundi. Tunc anima in Felix volens recedere cum deo, tunc diabolus capit eram et dicit. Nein, nein, du boser Wicht, du kommst mir von hier nicht. Anima dicit. Ave, 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 mir tun die Teufel also weh. Jesus, lieber Herr, schall ich nicht mit dir von hinnen kehre. Lucifer dietzit. Ave, ave, Hoffart, dass die in ihr erdacht ward. Ich war sein Engel klar und luchte über alle Engel klar. Ich hatte mich das vermessen, dass ich werde hoch angesessen, wenn der wahre Gott, der da ist, der wusste Gott. Dazu brachte mich mein Hoffart, dass ich erniedergestoßen ward. Viel tief in die Helle, ich und alle den Gesellen. Weh dem, der da triebet Hoffart, ist wert im alle zu der Seele gespart. Och, mussten sie lieben große Not, weh dem, der da Hoffart tut. Tunc Lucifer curret ad palatium, klamans alter Boze. Gesellen, liebe Gesellen alle, pumpt mit einem großen Schalle und merket mir eine Klage, die ich euch will sage. Wir waren gewaltig lange, es ist uns übel ergangen. Wir haben die Seelen verloren, des lasst euch allen Wesen zorn. Nun Wahrheit, was ihr möget begriffen, das lasst euch nicht entwichen. Das muss mit uns ewiglichen Wesen und kann ich nicht genesen. Jesus, der große Herr, behinder uns nur mehr. Lucifer, lieber Herr, den Schade rührt mich sehr. So geruge ich weder Tag noch Nacht, es werde denn die Wille verbracht. Auch will ich da noch immer ringen, ich will dir viel Seele bringen. Lucifer, die Zit? Satan, Satan, nimm die viel über Kumpan. Lauf, wenn kein Pullen, das wird die Helle gefallen. Satan, was die Lucifer, lieber Herr, mein, was du gebütet, das schall sie. Lucifer Dietzit? Satan, Satan, nun viel über Kumpan, lauf hin, kein Abian. Bringen wir also mal den Abend und den Kardinal, Patriarchen und Legat, die den Bücken geben, Bosenrat, König und Kaiser, die bringen wir also mal her. Grafen und Fürsten, die darf nicht der Gelüsten, Ritter und Knechte, die sind mir also mal Rechte, bringen wir den Feud und den Rassmann, die den Luten viel Unrechtes haben getan, bringen wir auch die Wucherer, die sind Gott gar und mehrere, die Chefin mit dem Urteil, die bringen wir her an den um Seil, den Pfaffen mit der Blatten, den Mönch mit der Kappen. Bringen wir den Bürschenken, den will ich in die Helle versenken. Bringen wir den Becken mit dem Wecke, den will ich machen, ein Großgelecke, den Fleischhauer mit der Kuh und den Weber dazu. Bringen wir auch den Zimmermann mit viel über Kumpanen. Bringen wir den Schuster mit der Ole, den Altbosser mit der Sohle. Bringen wir auch den Birschordner und dazu den Bodner, Esser, Eiler, Sporer, Weiler. Retznieder, Dela, Tränker, Toppler, Spieler, die bringen wir also her. Tod ist schier noch meiner Gär. Bringen wir auch den Trunkenbold, Gott, der wird im nimmer holt. Bringen wir den Mutter mit der Mäßen, den will ich zu Hinters in die Helle setzen. Bringen wir auch den Beder mit der Quästen, den Salzmann mit der Mäßen, den Smet mit der Zangen, das hatte ich vergessen lange. Den Fischer mit dem Hammen, den Schiffmann mit dem Kahnen. Bringen wir, bringen wir den Fifa und den Roter, den Pucker und den Fädler und allerlei Spielmann, der ich dir nicht benennen kann. Bring mir auch die Spinnerin, der will ich auch Froden beginnen. Auch bringe mir den Kämmer, dazu den Bürstenbinder. Bringe mir auch die Klapperminnen, die da sitzen an den Zinnen und dunken sich allzu heilig sehen. Also der Pfaffen Mastzwin, noch weiß ich ein Geschlechte, das ist der Helle nicht Rechte. Der Schalt und ich bringe her, so tust du wohl noch Mina Gär. Satanas Gebiet. Lucifer, lieber Hermin, was du gebütet, das soll sehen. Es taug nicht länger gespart. Ich will mich heben, uf die Fahrt. Alright. Sie leten, sie leten, sie leten. Luxatan aus Veniens Porterns Multas Animas Dicket. Gut. Ähm. Äh, Gnade, Herr Lucifer, ich weiß, ein armer Wecker, 
wenn der Teig war zu groß. Ich brach davon einen Kloß und warf in, ein, in ihn die Kegel. Äh, das muss ich äh, in die Helle bedienen. Gnadige, Gnade, Herr Lucifer, ich war sein armer Schüster, ich sagte den mutigen Sohlen an, da an habe ich nicht recht getan, und so sie wären so, sehr also gut, das muss ich in der Helle gut. Ich weiß, ein armer Kapellan, das war es nicht wohl eingetan, denn ich hörte den Glocken krank, so hatte ich Sünde nicht getan. Mit Schämchen in Wieben, bis ich die Zeit vertrieben. Wenn mir die eine entran, so griff ich die anderen an. Ja, der Herr Lucifer, ich war seine arme Bierschenke. Ich habe ein Maß, das war's zu kleine. Da, da <lacht> muss ich immer weinen. Genau, der Herr Lucifer, ich war sein armer Fleischhörer. Ich wanderte an den Land, da ich eine, je nachdem sie Find fand. Finde ich das auch fand. Ja? Finde ich das auch fand. Ich nahm sie auf meinen Rücken und trug sie in die Fleischbutter. Ich schwor auf die Trübermin. Es war ein reines Hügel. Gnade, Herr Lisbeth. Oh, ich weiß. Ja, und. Ich war es ein armer Schulter. Ich stahl die Schultern an die Grünen und die Roten, die Schwarzen und die Weißen. Das muss ich die Helle besch besch bescheißen. Ja. <lacht> Knarre, Herr Lucifer. Ich war ein Hälse. Ich hälste die Macht um ein Lot, die Frauen um ein Brot. Satan, lieber Geselle. Den bringen nicht in die Helle. Kommt her in die Helle Minen. Wir mussten alle Kebeskinder sitzen. Alright. Oh, auf mit dir. Ja. A lot of what. Uh, well done, souls. Um, so. It probably, I, I did it because well, I would be probably the way in which it was enacted uh, that um, you should be slightly apprehensive whether you uh, would be drawn on stage. Um, and, uh, be, probably they would have been briefed beforehand, but would be, have been pulled out of um, the audience. And um, so the line between stage and audience uh, blurs. And it's it's really um, you will be caught, and it, uh, if you um, uh, do um, a lot of the things are um, um, concerned with measurements. So if you bake two uh, small rolls, uh, if you uh, don't give out the right amount of beer. Ein Maß Bier, you still have that uh, as Bavarian expression. So, if you uh, um, that was uh, the most severe thing for <laughs> a food uh, chain in in the city in Freiburg at the Münster, you have um, in the stone the measurements for the town uh, hone in so that everybody could check that really uh, the length of the bread and the, uh, was the right uh, thing. Right, um, next week we are looking at um, the merchant's play, uh, the first part of it. And um, in the Innsbruck Easter play, what uh, the merchant does and what the three Marys who go to the tomb uh, do, is linked um, in a kind of chain. Um, so you have a sequence of comic and tragic scenes. So a high pathos, uh, always um, interrupted by uh, laughter. So I would uh, like you to look particularly 
um, add that. Thanks. <laughs>